Alright, I am sorry, I am trying to get the audio working here again. For some reason, Arm Sim doesn't like it. Oh, it's, that's what it is, I see what's going on here. Taking me a while to get back into the, uh, all right, all right. the groove. I am sorry, sorry. I, am. I am. All right, there we go. All right, so we are on a new map. I just started, um, Missouri, USA. Literally, I've just got everything bought. Well, most things bought. Things are probably still in the trees and whatnot here. But I've been, uh, yeah, messing with course play as you can see. Old Harold here, he's uh, <laughs> trying to get the old course play that I had set fixed. It's just a mess. Nonetheless, pretty cool looking map. I'll give you guys a, uh, a flyover actually. We are hauling bales in at the moment. And I was just trying out the, uh, the telehandler because I've never really used it so. Bear with me with that. Hit by a uh, set of pallet forks for the loader. I'm not really a big fan of them, but I'm hoping, hoping the telehandler will be the uh, right tool for the job. But I need something with a uh, a little bit longer, longer reach, so gonna go and bring this guy over and yeah grandpa what is going on uh you always have issues with your, dude i i ain't played the game it's been over a year so this is my second uh second live stream on it in the farming side i'm i'm pretty uh naive when it comes to the farming so that's why i kind of enjoy it there's a lot a lot to it especially when you get into maze plus and, course play and all the other uh, different different things you know, login there's really no uh, automated side to it unless you use like uh, to pick up the logs for you or I don't know what the heck we call that the trailers but yeah now login's pretty much broken I'm, I don't know that's what kicked my butt and uh, basically made me stop with the stream and start a new channel up because I just I couldn't I couldn't deal with it anymore. If I wanted to play any other games or anything, I always got too much flack from it, so I just said screw it, I'm done with it. I made a new channel, and that one's uh, just about up to 7,000 subscribers now, but that's real life stuff. So yeah, doing good, buddy. Doing good. Throwing like weeds. Son's eight, my daughter's five. How are you doing? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. The band, like, freaking. 17 we played a little bit of 19 then we got into EFT a little bit then I killed you with a nade and you left <laughs> no it was that was rough that was uh, that was rough times I was back with Marty and zombie dogs yeah that was good that was a good good run for the uh, the farming sim for sure Everything kind of fell apart after that. I mean, I think 19 really did it. It just got burnt out so quick. And same thing with this. I mean, I played, I think I got like maybe 100 hours onto this one. And it's just, it's the same game. So without mods or anything else, it just feels weird. Yeah, right? Exactly. So we got a grass field here. I cut this field over here in half. 
uh, and made this a grass field. Nice little road. So we bought the properties. The bales are here. I've got to get the bales to the farm. Uh, and we still don't even have a baler, so let me hop, skip over there. But yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know what time you're normally on or something like that, but we'll have to catch up. I work for myself now. I'm a logger. Uh, firewood man, tree guy, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the old group is, uh, has changed pretty good, man. I mean, one of them's now a, a chick or something, so that person's gone. <laughs> things, things got a little wacky with that group. Um, six guns I talked to a little bit. Uh, and then there's another fella. That is in the Discord still, but he doesn't really play these games, so. Not anymore, at least. And I, I, I play a lot of uh, uh, War Thunder. Why is this unhooking for me? Tension, there we go. I've been doing a lot of War Thunder. That's that's really, since, since I left Farming Sim, I think we're going to get this guy right out of here, because this is a little bit too slow. Since I left Farming Sim back in 19, I really haven't, I haven't been one of them either. I mean, 17 really kind of kicked my butt. That was good, 19 when it came out. I remember the first stream we had, we had like 15,000 people watching. And it was never really the same, to be completely honest. Once the, uh, once the crew kind of left, and we broke apart. Just because everybody got sick of it, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, that was really, <laughs> really the end of it. And, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't play anything hardly anymore. So, like right now, I'm just doing it to do it because I'm not tired. We have rain days right now, so I'm not not out working next three days are supposed to be a belly wash so take care of the birds and do a little bit around the house tomorrow I might start stealing them I gotta get that started just to get it done with but uh, yeah no not too much been going on it's pretty chill. I actually enjoy playing the War Thunder, not streaming it, not anything. Just relaxing, <laughs> you know? And then if I want to watch a YouTube video, I can watch a YouTube video for a half hour and then go do something else and not, uh, not be locked down by a stream or something like that. So, I don't know. It's fun, though. I, I, don't, I have a very hard time playing Farming Sim without streaming it, though, for whatever reason. I think it's just because if I am doing it, I feel obligated to try to stream it, or maybe it doesn't feel natural not to stream it. I, I don't know. It's a disease. That's one bale. How about two? This is a test. I've never used the uh, loader forks or no, loader spear before, so this does. Okay, so if I put it down. I like the idea of using a front on loader for this though. It just seems like it'd be so much easier in real life. Um very hard to actually read the chat though with this eye tracker. Let's see. Um Ronald Graham, what's going on, buddy? I'm back. Went weird for me. Awesome that you're logging. Yeah, yeah. Well, I went. I left uh, the plowing job. I left DOT after six years, seven years of service, and I went logging full time for three years. Um, and then last year, my son got a little bit sick and uh, was looking like he was going to need to uh, go out of state. 
uh, for surgery. And with the hours I was putting in and being so far away, it just it wasn't good in my head to be like that. So when we were supposed to go into mud season, I ended up letting them know that I'm going to leave and I might not be back. I'm going to try my hand at working for myself for a little bit and see if I couldn't take care of family stuff. And it ended up uh, it ended up working real good. I ended up buying a firewood processor this year, so Going full full swing into that. Just bought a dump truck and got the little tractor going. Yeah, it's it's uh good. It's real good. I'm enjoying it. I'm here with the kids and mama a lot more, so. Nope, I'm reading, reading while trying to drive here. Um, come on anytime now. This is just mine. All right, game. Uh, people are trying to, oh yeah? Well, cool. Like I said, I, I, I honestly can't promise you that. This week is working out, where next month might not, you know what I mean, so. But uh, if you ever see me on, you're more than welcome. I'll try to uh, I'll try to be in the Discord more often. There's just not not too many bodies in there now, so I don't, I don't really bother with it. All of a sudden, I'll have a random come in there that I have no clue, but they know everything about me, and it's kind of awkward for me, so. I don't mind talking to people, it's just, it all depends on what you're doing. But yeah, um, I don't know, I did get rid of, I got rid of like a hundred and something mods off of this, so this might be a little bit easier to bring people in on, but I don't know, it all depends on what you, uh, what you'd end up wanting to do. Like for the logging side, the logging's pretty much done. I did, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I, I love the log inside, but I hate it, because it's not changed any. You know, the modders, the modders are bringing out these new mods, and then, by the time 22 is somewhat playable, Giants decides to put that in the next game that comes out, and then it takes them at least a year to get everything back to working like the previous game worked, or at least to a point where the previous game was somewhat working. Like, they just need to scrap all the ideas of the shiny new vehicles and this, that, and the other thing, and get us physics. I mean, just look at the, look at the forks on this thing. I'm on single player right now, 60 frames per second, and come on, you know, and then to try to log like that for as many hours as we used to do it, it just makes me sick, even thinking about it now, so. what I did think about, actually, here I'm thinking about reaching across that bed and putting these wide bales on there, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get them back off. Try it. I think I'm just going to be able to get more out of it if I put them on there the other way. <laughs> yeah. sounds well and good hopefully we can get something going but we'll see like I said this week it's easy to make content and then we're gonna be out of winter and hopefully the mud's gonna be drying up and then I won't be around again so it's just kind of one of them things I, I don't know I just don't want to make no promises that I can't keep or have this pull me away from my duties that I need to get done because last year I didn't come home and have to worry about streaming or anything like that so I just did the job came home ate 
Held the kids in, went to bed. You know, it was it was nice. It was a nice routine. Where when this gets involved, all of a sudden there's a chance of rain, so I as well not go out today. I just I don't want that again, so. on this I just this mirror oh okay oh look at this so I've got to change that key hold on a second this would be cool if I can get this to I like the inside the cab stuff Let's see how do I do this mirrors um change me okay that wasn't even bound uh, let's do right, change mirror this way, okay. This, I actually added this mod specifically for this truck, because it drove me nuts. No! Why is it not working now? What was that noise? Well, now it's not working at all. What's that noise? Oh, it's a shifter. Oh, well, oh well. Thought we had it working. Apparently we don't. <laughs> I'll screw around with that at a later date. Breaking the game again every day, man. Every day. Now, I started a new map today. I'm gonna try this. You just see if this works. This mirror. Oh, it works on this thing fine. Ain't that cute? That mirror. What mirror we on now? Are there any other mirrors? this do oh there's a mirror back there well that's not cool so there's no children behind me that mirror that mirror what, what one are we adjusting now? I don't know okay Yeah, Rambo, I don't know if you met Velcro or not, but he's been, uh, he's been part of the new crew there when the old farm sim was popping on this. And, uh, 19, actually. The end of 19, we got into it. big on telehandlers I used to hate working on these things so I never use them in game at least they're pretty cool though 
They are. They are pretty cool. Uh, name rings a bell, but not sh too sure, bro. He actually uh, reminds me quite a bit of Six Guns. Actually, I thought it was six guns when I first talked to Velcro. Things actually working slicker than snot. I just have to bring this to the farm. Stack the bales up really high. So Velcro, if you've watched any of the uh, the older stuff we used to do back in 17, beginning of 19, uh, Rambo, he was uh, he was my right hand. He got us into a lot of mischief, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we all parted ways a little bit. Rambo got out of the gaming, and I got out of it. And then we got back into Escape from Tarkov, and that was just not not a very good team player in Tarkov. Makes me nervous. That game makes me nervous. Uh, gives me realish feels, I guess, when I'm in it. You know, like what I would actually do. What, what, you know, you hear the bump in the night. What the old redneck would do if he was by himself <laughs> even though he wasn't by himself I wasn't a very uh, very helpful teammate we'd hear gunfire I'd throw a nade and I'd kill Rambo <laughs> so yeah that didn't last long check my tensions let me just auto tension this sucker it's a pretty good jag though uh, let me see what is the key for that L. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Pretty near. Oh, Rudy. Rudy was the, uh, he's the other one that's in the Discord. Remember old Rudy. Not the straightest looking bales, but can't see it from inside the cab. Oh, man, this, this eye tracker. I go to glance down at the comments and... The only way I get by it is by going out here. Uh, I would lose. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, it's understandable. That game, you know, I, I just, I'm on eggshells with it. Until late, late, well, not late game, but after I hit 10 to 15, I'm usually in a groove and I'll just shut the game down. And then when it, restarts I like the early game is what I'm trying to say I guess the late game is kind of boring the early game where everything means something when you're trying to collect lighters and matches and just that that that's cool I, I enjoy that just stressful trying to get all the tasks done and, but uh, then later on when you got all the all the rough ones done and your guns are starting to get better everything's starting to get better 
I just I lose it. Well, once one, the only the only other one that I know about, like I said, six guns he hasn't been on in a couple of years. Uh, Marty, Marty is the one that is now Sparkly Unicorn, which now identifies as some sort of spaceship or something. Uh, zombie dogs I haven't seen or heard from since he left. Ooh, that's a little bit hot. We might, might be looking at rolling this thing to keep that up. Um, yeah, zombie just kind of disappeared off the map, so I don't know what happened with him. But Rudy's been around. He doesn't play anymore. He's, uh, he's hot and heavy into the, uh, LSPDFR and 5M stuff, which I don't blame him, that, that stuff's cool. person right now just because of the chat. I gotta figure out if there's a button I can hit for my eyes. Like with the head tracker. Um Yeah. Cool zombie dogs. I don't know, he was, uh, he was big on the, uh, I don't know, big on the Tiger Cats and doing all that, and then just kind of disappeared, I, I don't know, he might have got just over, over stressed with everything, I understand that. Whatever, good for him. Or whatever. Come on. That's what I mean. You guys probably for the best that everything fell apart because I would be you guys would have me sucked right back into it <laughs> these are not the same bales what am I doing what have I got here oh that's hay and this is grass dummy That's whatever, man. You know what I mean? I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not in with all that. I'm a country boy. I'm raised by the Bible, man. A lot, of, a lot of stuff going on in the world nowadays I don't really get along with. Yeah, as long as, as, long as I'm left alone and I don't have to deal with that around me, I'm good.
that or my kids, you know. I just, no, no thank you. Raising them by the Bible. I tell you who you ought to get into or in with, man, is uh, Woodsy. I could send you their Discord. They are... Uh, they're in it still hot and heavy. They're they're the guys that were helping me out uh, this year. Uh, very good people. Woodsy, yeah, actually, you probably remember them from back with uh, Rebel modding. They left uh, they left Rebel modding and made uh, Mountain Mountain State modding. You can check them out on uh, on Google. But uh, yeah, Woodsy, Woodsy's excellent people to uh, get in with the modding side. He's very, very knowledgeable and very willing to help. I mean, he's he's tried so hard with me. So and they're around, you know that they they eat and breathe this stuff. I'm not like I said. I can't I can't promise nobody nothing with it. <laughs> Get off of there. Oh, now we got two on here. I don't like these auto clinging forks. Just have forks that just stick into the stupid thing and come out. This is the only bale fork I have on the uh, for the loader right now, so I'm gonna have to do. Oh yeah, I remember Woodsy used to talk to him regularly. I used to help him with engine. There you go. Like I said, I got, uh, they're all in the, uh, in the, uh, the new Discord. I think you're in the new Discord, too. But, uh, I mean, if you're wanting to get into it and learn the new stuff, I mean, if, if you don't already know, they're definitely, definitely some awesome people in there. And then you got Raj. Raj is over there where you are. He's uh, salt of the earth people, people as well. Yeah, Sirius is doing good. I talk to Sirius maybe once every couple months. I played with him. Played with him a lot uh, back. I don't know about this time last year, but I didn't stream much of it. We just did some uh, American truck sim, and I helped him on his farm a little bit, and this, that, and the other thing, but. Uh, he, uh, he, he's kind of like me with it. Once he, once he got into the, uh, doing the stuff in the real world, he, he enjoys doing it, but he doesn't, uh, I don't know. I guess he just doesn't do it every day anymore. He actually just made a beautiful logging video, um, up with the arters and whatnot. I was, I was looking at his channel to see what maps were kind of current because he's usually a pretty good uh, judge of the maps. Oh, of course you would, wouldn't you? That's right, this grass stuff might be going to mulch anyway. This is pretty much what I wanted to do. I want to get these bales cleaned up from over there. I had the uh, fields I had to do, and then we'll uh, I'll show you guys around a little bit. Do 
said, I've been working on it for a little while now. Try to get something ready to uh, stream tonight with, but there's just so much to do when you have a new map. And then to uh, start trying to stream. And I wasn't about to use the, uh, the equipment that they gave you to start out with, so. So I just sold it all and I kept the, the profits to buy everything that was kind of on the other farm that we were just playing. always been a plague to this for me in this game because I am just not not happy with the uh, the stock stuff like get rid of it all and bring new in I have such a hard time even with like the stock trucks and whatnot it's just I don't, everything feels so European to me oh yeah way too many hours but it was fun. It was fun while it lasted, you know. Hopefully I can... I'm trying to clean out the mods that aren't on the mod hub right now. If I can get just mods that are on the mod hub, people want to come in. That's no big deal. They can just download the mods from the mod hub and hop in, you know. But, uh, some things... Some things I'm having a hard time finding, like that little loader, that that little uh, 640. Oh crap, 48. That thing is about perfect. It feels like the uh, DLC Volvos, but so much, so much easier to use for me. The inside, the cab views beautiful. Hearing's very, I don't know. Everything feels good. But that, that's one of them uh, mods that's not on the uh, the mod hub yet. It probably won't be, I mean, honestly. And then there's that uh, dozer with a silage blade. You know, but little, if it's, if it's two, two to ten mods I could put on a mod hub or something like that, it wouldn't be too bad. But when you start getting into freaking 50, 100... And then you got two that won't verify or, you know, it just, it, it's way too much of a hassle. You try to start your stream up for six o'clock. Nobody can get the mods on. By the time you get everybody with the mods, it's eight o'clock. You got another hour to stream or something like that. It's just, you're always chasing your tail. You could be playing with uh, four guys one night, two guys come back in the next night. And one of them has problems with the mod again. And you got to go through the uh, rigmarole again. So I'm trying to get everything over to the mod hub. But it's a, uh, a bit of a chore. Oh, you dirty rotten son of a gun. How do you do stacking? get off of there. But if I can, it'd be, uh, it'll be a lot easier. A lot easier. I only had one person come in yesterday asking if they could play. And I said, no, nah, there's way too many mods. And then they told me they had over 23 million mods on theirs. So it's like, uh, I'm, I guess I'm not too bad. 
<laughs> I mean, this game with the mod count there is, there's probably around 80 on it now. I would imagine 60, 60 or so are off the mod hub, so. Mod hub is coming around. Starting to, we're starting to see some good stuff, especially the uh, quality of life stuff. Please let this be the last one. Yeah, so I don't have to come back down. Oh, that's heavier. This is a different bale. What was I doing? Must have been messing with the baler. Yep, that's a brighter green, isn't it? Or darker green. Apparently it's heavier. Dense bales. Um. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on Discord. Uh, I'll, I'll send you a message one of these nights. Um, shoot. That would definitely make a <laughs> Yeah, I know it would, buddy. I know it would. You know the login, the login site's the, uh, the bottleneck. There's hardly anything on the mod hub for the login. So then you got, of course, we had, we had Woodsy modding for us. We had, oh, Viking. Viking was sending over. I, I, I don't even know how to list them. You got that uh, freaking wheeled buncher of. Uh, I'm not good with names. Had JDL logging send me stuff. Had a dozer that one modder took, and then another. You know, it just that that's where it gets bad. You know, and then people send me stuff, and they want me to test it on a live stream. So you gotta make sure that all the guys are understanding that, you know, we have private mods. We need to uh, keep them hush hush and you know don't send them out. And it's just mm, that's a such a political political show. But like I said, the farming is relaxing stacking bales, I'm driving a truck that I like, I'm doing this and that, and Harold's freaking overdoing corduroy strips in the fields, which I still don't know if he's actually fixed or not. No, well, he's fixing it. Quite a bit of rocks there, Harold. Good. I think we got the, uh, Horse play working, <laughs> and it actually looks pretty good. He's got, I don't know, with the dust and all that, I don't know how much of an overlap. I put it down to four meters, I think this is a 5.5 five or something like that, meter plan or so. I don't know what I did on the, uh, I think I might have had him do six rows instead of 12. No, I don't know, I don't. spacing, spacing always messes me up. You got the super fatty here. Love these tires. The old Mac. Your little dump truck I bought. Oh, uh, where we got? There's this. I should have strapped that down. We weren't driving this world, we were driving the telehandler. Yeah. Oh well. Get up in that in a second. Uh, yeah, it gets crazy. Uh, with it all. Why a small group of trusted people is but well, it is, man. But that's that's what I'm saying. I mean, is it? I don't even know if it ends up being worth it. I mean, the nice, nice, pretty mods that are broken or, you know, have errors and slow everybody's game down. I don't know. I don't know. It 
it's great to have trust in people. That is for darn sure. But I don't know. It's hard. The game really doesn't like multiplayer either. I mean, I don't know how the farming side is per se because I don't really ever do it. But I know the logging side. If Woodsy wasn't having problems, Velcro was having problems. If Velcro wasn't having problems, you know, it was just it, it run you down so much. And then to try to be upbeat during a stream, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, and then the 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 viewers pick up on it. They stop talking. And then you kind of got stale air going. I mean, that, that's what my Sunday live streams are like when I'm uh, on my other channel. You know, if you have a good audience and they're going back and forth with you, it's easy to make a good stream. It's easy to have talking points. For me, I need talking points. I'm not, I'm not a guy that really thinks of what to say ever because I work in the woods. I work by myself, so I don't talk. Uh, but when you got somebody. You know poking and prodding you and asking you questions or you know somebody to go back and forth with it's a heck of a lot easier for me I mean probably for anybody but you know there's a lot of people out there that they can have a stick and they can have a full-on conversation with that stick about whatever I'm not one of them people <laughs> Straighten these up a little bit here. There, see, stacking with a loader is so much easier, guys. There. Look at that. Nice, pretty stackage. You would have to be screwed up, wouldn't you? There, see? Alright, brother man. Good talking with you. Yeah, I'm gonna put these bales away. Like I said, it was gonna be a shorter one just because I I've done so much tonight with this stinking map, so I am hookered out. <laughs> just to going from this field to this field with trees and putting trees here, but I'll I'll do a flyover. Anybody that uh, is familiar with the map should see a pretty big change. sitting here waiting for all these bales ping off into this <laughs> uh, you had to go and say that you had to go and say that I just need to remember these three on the back I don't I don't even know what kind of grass bales they are but I must have I must have changed the baler setting trying to get the mirrors to work or something like that probably but we're not done handling the bales, so uh, Ronald, you might get your show you're looking for. Let 
telehandler was pretty slick though, I will say. For not using one in the game. I don't know if I really ever used one. I gotta love that startup. 644G. The old 648, that was one that I really, really enjoyed. It was the, uh, I think they were like the 90s. Maybe 2000, early 2000s. But this old girl right here, I really, really like it. Feels good, everything's precise on it. I just had the uh, right fork, so that's another thing too. The forks for this, in order for me to get better forks, there's none on the mod hub that I was able to see. I do have like, there you guys. Wheel loader tools, I have a pile of tools. Like here's a bale fork, but you gotta click a button for it to lock onto the bale and that's just cheating. I'm not into that. All this stuff. Them are the ones I'm using. You got a round bale with a winch. Then I've got these CSZ things that I need to get rid of because all of these, I don't know why, but you have to click a stupid, at least the ones I used, um, you gotta click a stinking button. Maybe these won't. Them for round? Two bales, two bales, or zero bales, zero bales, one bale? I don't know. What are them for? Yeah, round bales, okay. Which one are you for? Round bales. But like if I had forks like these, that would work. Um, and I thought I had a pair like this that did work before where you just stick it in It would lift it and then when you put it down it was off What are them? That cage all But yeah, that's that's all I have As far as that goes so It just stinks Hard to find them even even for a uh, normal tractor the uh, it Seems like the Giants bale forks I have the best luck with. These are different bales. These aren't too, too bad. You can see I kind of have to, I have to make sure the geometry of the forks are right. But.
I might try next is one of them uh, Buffalo, uh, the uh, crane trailers with the buffalo or the, I guess, the crane on them or whatever. Got the, uh, I think it's like a Ponzi buffalo arm, but it's for bales. I might try that now. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try that before. Did have all the control set up for it. Could try that before we uh, shut her down. Mr. Rock, how you doing, Bubba? Nobody worth thundering? I always wanted to try one of these. I never have. That I remember at least. Oh, where are you? This guy? No. Mm-hmm. Um, would it be under bale trailers, maybe? Forestry equipment, bale loaders. Um, what the heck was it? It used to have the, uh, the arm on it. Um, hmm. No. I swear there was a flat deck and there was a, uh, a bale loader. Timber trailer. Crane. Wasn't there one with a bale trailer? Doing good? Good, good. Yeah, I was dreaming. Or is it the buffalo? Um. No, it isn't. Huh. Maybe we tried it at 19? Maybe it was a mod or something? Could have swore. Miscellaneous? No? Hmm. Sounds like a mod. Yeah, it might have been. I could have swore it was a. Uh, it was just a bale trailer. With a, uh, a grapple on it. Hmm. Maybe not. What is that? Brown bale. Brown bill stacker. Uh -huh. Yeah, it must have been. What are the difference? Let me see. Just throw these on here then. Oh, uh, is that? No, that's the right bail. So these are 
Uh, semi-dry grass, blast, blah, 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 grass, and fresh grass, okay. Fresh grass, you ought to be able to turn into grass, or the, uh, grass silage, right? Well, maybe we'll just grab one of them, uh, wrappers. Um, I want to try that. I've never wrapped square before. Mm-hmm. 240, that's the one. Do this in green for grass. Buy it. How much horse do we need? Doesn't say, okay, so it doesn't matter. Uh oh. Oh no. Down the roof. Oh, okay. All right, let's go over and we'll grab the animal tractor. The old faithful bald tired thing. Be good for doing some forestry stuff. I think I had that in mind when I downloaded this one. Huh. Just experiment tonight, basically. Like I said, we got a new map. We'll check that out real quick. I don't know how long it's been out, though. I see um, when I did the uh, FS um, farming maps, the uh, one with the, well, this map was the uh, the one that stuck out and it looked, it looked good. So. All right, how do we use this thing? Shove a bale in, does it automatically pick it up? No clue. Maybe a back up to it? Let's see. Unfold, that would be a start. Bingo. simple. Normally I wouldn't be doing this all by hand, but testing. Unload will fly. Wait, they do have uh, they do have silo tubes, don't they? Forgot about that. Oh uh, crap! I want to do that now. Uh, I won't be doing squares. That that's the crappy part. Oh, why do we keep hitting tab? Dang it! silage for TMR, I believe. I'm not completely sure. Because I, I don't know. I don't know how the game registers fresh grass from semi-dry grass to dry I, I mean, whatever. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. Unless the crusher rolls are on it. 
get off of there. I guess that would open up the fibers. Put that there. A couple, couple thousand kilos. Um. Yeah. Let me let me just see for this experiment if it is in the fibers or if it what 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 the heck this means it should be the same thing right yeah it is okay do it spin it make it happen just take your time okay so this is fermenting zero percent submerger grass owned by me okay Did we break it? We broke the game. Dang it. I don't know what mod is doing this, but I can't get in and out of tractors when something happens. Yeah, now I can't get in it again. I don't know. Something had something happened earlier with that too. Probably has something to do with my action bar. Same thing with this right here, hitting the uh, other mouse button. I don't, I think that has something to do with the, uh, the course plane. Okay, so, question of the night, because that, that was just for fun. Bale wrappers, these do rounds. That one does round and squares. Okay. Okay. And these are the... Uh, yeah, the tubes. Yeah, one together in one tube. Okay. All right, so we'll get an Anderson wrapper. We just have to figure out if we want to stick with the rounds like we've been doing or the squares. 180 and 240. We're doing 240s right now with the squares, so guess we'll make that uh, determination tomorrow or whatever day I get back um, but I'll just leave this guy in here hook to this tractor to remind myself that we were looking into that but uh, that's the next thing I did uh, purchase a pile of cows um, to start off with because like I said money is money is uh, gonna be an issue if I don't I bought straw, I bought everything for the mixing wagon, and I mixed up a whole pile of mixed rations off of what I bought for bales, and then I went over and did that grass field. Uh, so these guys should be all right. Yeah, they'll be all right for a while. Health at 60%, milk, straw, slurry. All right, so... Puberty, all right, so they're just they're just little ones yet. These guys are starting to Starting to get bigger Start producing milk here in the next bit We're on four day Four day seasons for four. Yeah, something like that four day months, maybe Um, That seemed to be pretty good. I know uh, when I started UMRV we were doing 15 day But we weren't using uh we weren't using course play, we weren't using any of the aids. Um that we are now. So now I don't need to spend a day uh doing all the tillage work and all that other stuff. So I got this down to four days. And I have the husbandry system on. I've got um uh, all the stuff that I don't really understand anything about, so hopefully I can do some learning. Hopefully some people in the uh, chat can help me with it. Like I said, we've got, uh, what is that? The corn, corn maize plus crap, whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, maize plus. 
which okay no real clue what the heck this has to do with anything but if it's more in depth I'd like to know know a little bit more about it like uh, I started watching uh, one lonely farmer when I started YouTube and you know the corn drying process and all that stuff I never I never really understood it I always thought the corn went from the bin to to the uh, to the silos but like do these have dryers in them could they be dried before they go you know what I mean like he's I remember he was having a lot of problems with the uh, the motors on his dryer but then when you get these maps they don't even have a dryer around them so I'm, I'm not sure what the process is I'm sure you could probably put it in wet and it'll go through the process I don't even know why this building's here well that's that's an easy one to make perfect what building but that's basically what I've been doing um, let me uh, before we wrap this up I'll show you guys what we've got for farm here people on plate mode on plate status on All on okay so I think all right so this is the starter farm I guess they call it but I was having a lot of problems with the uh, mod hub version and come to find out what I was doing was I was starting this in hard mode and it was giving me all the roads but no buildings on it. it's build your own farm basically and I ended up finding out if you do a fresh start or the middle the medium there's the easy medium and hard difficulty I always done hard well this time I did put it on the easy difficulty and all the buildings were there so I basically deleted most of them uh, there was a horse horse barn back here and sheep over here um, some other crap here a silo building or something like that and then anybody that has played this map knows that there are no trees around the farm at all <laughs> so I have spent the afternoon planting trees surrounding the fields trying to break everything up a little bit uh, the roads and whatnot we do have a water pit back here like I added field entrances and all that and then I cut this field off made this grass field but I'll connect maybe I'll cut this in half and make it all gray I don't know but uh and we ended up coming over here this was the first field and this goes to this guy put a pile of trees through here I'm gonna start playing with sizes and I had I did actually play with sizes on some of them but it seems like the uh, the natural growth was the uh, the first stage of trees but nonetheless this is the uh, the farm we're on and let me show you there's three three on this map to choose from got that one this guy here which was a close close second I like the uh, I like the river I like the cross in the river and I like the elevations and all that when you, when you actually get down here you can see that it's not actually flat it is got some hills and just I hate flat maps so you got them too and then there was this guy over here which I thought had too much crap around the farm and was way too close to the city for this guy so but this was a uh, this was another close one because I really like this this road out here fields are all nice and broken up and got some nice tree rows yeah with all this hay and everything else they've got outside I just I don't know if I can delete it so I just didn't bother with it but uh, I really like the outdoor cow pasture both sides of the place I don't know it, it really is actually warming up to me a little bit more and more this is this is ideal for me I, I would love cows to have 
grazing area like they uh, like they do here. A little farmhouse. This is this is easy to maintain, and then you come over here to where we are, and uh, it's a little bit more chaotic, I guess. Big farm, big farming when we're not. I'm not into big farming at all, but it kind of had it kind of scratched all the itches I had, I guess, with the roads, the nice. Uh, Glory pit down from the farm had the river or the uh, pond out back you know everything everything you kind of have to drive for I don't like the, uh, the farmyard to be here the field here 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 around the farm you know this is you got to drive out here you got to drive out to get the grass it's just it's nice it breaks up the uh, breaks it up a little bit nonetheless but uh, yeah love the map um, hopefully we can Get a nice little series going. I got a big, big area for uh, corn or grass, whatever we plan on using. Like I said, I'll keep working. I'll keep trying to work the mods down the best I can. Um, that way, we have more people interested in coming in. We can. Uh, what is the starting fleet like? I have no clue. Ak. No clue. This this map is uh, just as you see it on my description. I actually highlighted it and copied and pasted it. So it's uh, ALMA uh, Missouri US. Starting fleet. Uh, I think it gave me a million and a half after I sold it all. So, I mean, you're not you're not getting just starting vehicles. You know they. They had some articulated tractors. They had this. They had that. Um, the field. This. Mm, I don't know. I, I know you start out with this farm. This field back here. And I believe this field here. Uh, may even be that field. Let me look at the map real quick. Because I know I bought two fields. Yeah. All right, so you got the starting farm. Let me see X. Okay, so I bought this big field here. I bought two, and I bought 28. So this is your starting farm. One, eight, whatever this field is. Uh, that's not a field. That's a cow pasture, maybe. Something like that. Got an awful... Frog in the throat. <laughs> so what is going on with that? Uh, I think the map has mud. I'm not sure. But I did add the uh, mud mod in because I wanted to kind of experiment with that. Like all the, uh, all the dark dirt and everything else that you see, the animal mud that's on the map right now is not stock. I did that just because I don't like uh, just gravel roads. But I did add this mud pack, but when I get into... Oh, hey there, easy. Easy. Nothing, nothing's easy here. When I got into the wheel loader, I don't know if I can show this or not. I don't know if the wheel loader will actually make it into the field. I don't know if the terrain changes once you add that mod, or like the mod uh, creator says that some some maps actually have them have it standard now. But for whatever reason, when I came into here and I started driving around earlier, I was sinking. And you can hear you can hear the loader right now. I'm not. I'm not, uh, I'm flat footed it, now it's not doing it, you, you could hear it when it idled down there, let me see, you hear it, flat foot, so there, there is some type of resistance, like you, 
could, I don't know. I don't know. There's some type of resistance in the field that's kind of off that I've never picked up on before. Maybe, uh, maybe that was updated a year ago with Giants and everybody got used to it so far. But like I said, I added that mud in and uh, I, I don't know if the map supports that or not. But uh, when it gets, when it gets raining, we'll have to see if uh, stuff starts getting stuck. That's why I'm starting to uh, run with these floater tires. I've got floating tires. Ooh, hey there. Excuse me. I've got the floaters on this truck. This one I went with the. They're aggressive, but they're not. They're not duals. They're. Or they are duals. They're not uh, a single wheel. But uh, it'd be kind of cool if it did, because then it would justify the floating tires. So, and I'm all about that. That's what we have around here. So anything that can kind of pull me in a little bit more with that would be uh, would be awesome. So nonetheless, I am going to wrap it up there, guys. I am beat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, look at the new map and hopefully we can have a good time with it. Nonetheless, God bless you all. We will see you next time.